Welcome back to another advanced sales training lesson. Today we're going to cover one of my favorite topics. This one is at the top, top, top of things I like to talk about. You can tell I'm getting excited about it. This is doing things in a certain way in real estate. What the heck does that mean? When I heard that in Wallace Waddle's book, The Science of Getting Rich, over 10 years ago, I had no idea what the heck he was talking about. What is a certain way? Watch this video to learn what that certain way is. It's a way of being. It's a way of being that produces a different outcome than if you were to be this other way. Watch all the way to the end because it's at the end that I drop the final key. This is the keys to the castle. If, you have, if you've been struggling in your sales career and you want to understand what's at play, this video, this training, reveals it all for you. Stay tuned. And again, there's a link below to this entire sales training playlist. If this is something that's helping you, simply bookmark the playlist link and then come back to it often. There's only two ways to impact subconscious change, and that is through an emotional impact and through constant space repetition. I recommend, I highly recommend and encourage you to come back to these videos often and play them over and over and over again. If you like what you see, by the way, share these with people that you know that this will help. And let's get started. So in order to, in order for this to work, there's a reason when you think when you go back to lesson one, which we're still in lesson one, is a worthy ideal. We're setting a big goal. So you set the big goal and you thought about it and then you, you suppress it. This is, this is where we talk about doing things in a certain way. This is all tied together. A certain way. Day one, you go to real estate. I sat over here, did a video. Remember that? You too. And I said, there's a couple things we're going to talk about today. You guys didn't get the benefit of that. Day one, it's different. But is that we're gonna talk about doing things in a certain way and we're gonna talk about the law of compensation. Remember that? And I said, your success in real estate is not gonna be based on doing certain things, but based on doing things in a certain way. And I said, I didn't know what that meant 10 years ago. I certainly know what it means now. Is that that certain way is born out of emotionalizing thoughts. You, you emotionalize it, you think the thought that's, that's empowering, your big goal, your C goal, right? You emotionalize it and then you impress it upon the subconscious. Now the subconscious is in every cell of the body. I know we do the, we do the, the graphic illustration as though it's like the lower half of your head, but that's just to give an image to the mind because without the image of the stick person, we wouldn't have any concept of self-conscious or subconscious. We have to see what that looks like. So when you impress it upon the subconscious, now by the way, the whole thing rests upon a very simple premise, profound premise, is that you set a goal that is big enough to emotionalize it, enough to charge you up and get excited about it and simultaneously bring you to tears when you're writing affirmations about it. That's, that's what that means. When you do that, it's in every cell of the body. You have a big reason for doing what you're doing. A massive reason. No one can stop you. And it just, it's a part of who you are. Now, because it's in every cell of the body, this is where the certain way comes in. Doing things in a certain way. You're vibrating at a different level. You're, you're interacting with people at a different level. When I say something, people are picking it up at a different level. On the phone, in person, delivering a speech, whatever that might be, it's doing it a certain way. That certain way is born out of that desire that's in me and it's every cell of my body and it's being picked up and it begins to magnetize. So here's the thing. We will only magnetize to us that which is in harmony with us on a vibrational level. This might be the biggest, most powerful thing you might hear today. I know, Bob said some cool stuff, but here. You will only draw unto you that which harmonizes with your vibration. And so if your vibration is based on an, whatever that goal is, this represents the goal, that's your vibration. You will begin to attract to you the people, the circumstances, the events, the means for the attainment of that goal because it's in harmony with your vibration. 
And so that's why when people don't, aren't doing it a certain way, it's work. They haven't taken the time to identify a big goal, so they haven't impressed anything upon the subconscious other than the concept is that the only way to do this is through hard work. And then the sales rep says to me after doing this for three years, I feel like this is like a hamster wheel. I'm like, yeah. Now, this is before I knew this, but I knew that that was like, God, wow, yeah. But I did know what goals were. And I said, well, what are your goals? And he said, I don't know, man. I just think I want to like, I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, hamster wheel, for sure. There's like, there's, what are you going towards? There's nothing. We are meant to go after things. Spirit is for expansion and for expression. There's a power flowing through us and to us. So what that means is that whatever we have locked up in us, our unique gifts and talents, we're meant to express that. So whatever it is that you have, and you know you have some awesome things, everybody here does. You all have that thing. So spirit is for expansion and fuller expression. It wants to express through us our unique individual DNA that's locked within us. Set the goal, impress it upon the subconscious mind, become emotionally evolved with it every single morning before the world wakes up every day and then when you come in to go do the work part you're applying effort but it's not doesn't need to be painstaking it could be fun it could be easy because you're doing it in a certain way in subconscious is every cell of the body and you're just expressing spirit is expressing itself through you it just becomes natural you see that the other way is completely opposite remember the story of the fly in the room at the Millcroft Inn, 10 miles outside of Toronto, on a hot summer day. It keeps on beating itself against the window, thinking that this is the way, hard work, hard work, hard work, and that'll kill the fly. And then 10 feet away was a window wide open. That's what it looks like if you don't have that. So that's a certain way. There's a certain way to do an open house. There's a certain way to prospect every day. There's a certain way to do a new buyer appointment. There's a certain way to negotiate an offer. You see that? There's a certain way. And if, if one does an open house a certain way, they're going to stay out late on a, on a Friday night, rolling at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, having had too much alcohol, going to feel like crap on a Saturday morning. They're going to quickly pull themselves together, probably not shower, cram food in their face, get in their car, drive there, food on their face. People are lined up at the front door waiting for them because they're late for their own open house. They'll throw a sign in. It's probably kind of half cocked and sideways. They'll apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. They'll quickly get in the house after struggling with the lockbox a little bit. They'll get in. They'll say, okay, everybody, just, I'm so sorry. I have to catch my breath and take a glass of water. Now go let yourself around. I'm going to go over here for a minute and just kind of unwind and then they do and then you do and then they leave and then so do you never capturing names never connecting never getting any email addresses and never having a follow-up opportunity that's one way the other way is to go there a day or two in advance and load up all your signs make the whole neighborhood aware of the fact that you're going to be doing this open house go knock on doors one side or the other 10, 10 houses 20 houses each way then, get a good night's rest, wake up early, work out, meditate, pray, read, affirmations, go early, knock on some doors, connect with people, be there early, oh, turn the lights on, open the blinds, put the table up, get your everything set up just right, have refreshments, and then be ready at the time the open house starts, open the door with a smile and greet people as they come in. Capturing names and email addresses, and connect with them at an emotional level the entire way. Asking great questions because you're naturally curious because that's what people that are doing things in a certain way are. Because we want to leave them with the impression of increase. And after all, we have something of massive value to give them, don't we? See that? Certain way. Cause and effect. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay, we're wrapping up a lesson of doing things in a certain way. And as you knew, as you found out in this video, there's one way to do something and there's another way to do something. But we're not just talking about actions. If we were, you can go watch that on any other video. You're talking about hustle and hard work and tenacity. Yeah, that's all great. 
It doesn't work unless you're doing it in a certain way, and that certain way, as you found out, is brought about by having big goals which impact our conscious mind. We impress that upon our subconscious mind and subconscious in every cell of the body, and then it, it, it requires that we go to work because that's what, that's what it's, it's, it's urging us to do. Spirit is for expansion and fuller expression. It wants to work through us and express itself in, in the best way possible. And that's how you observe some people that are getting what they want in life. They've understood this. They're doing things in a certain way. Are you doing things in a certain way? Would you like to know more about how to do things in a certain way? There's a couple things that I'll leave you with. One, as I mentioned often, click the link below and save it as a bookmark. This is the playlist. Save it as a bookmark and come back here often. In order to impact subconscious change, you need constant space repetition. Now below, you can share this video with friends, with people that are in your industry that you know need to hear this. Because guess what? They're not hearing it anywhere else. It's right here. This is it. Come back often, share this, like it. Hey, doing things in a certain way also in includes if you like something, let let me know that. And also, if you have a comment, leave a comment. I'm open to dialogue. I'm completely open. Share with me what you're thinking. Do you have any questions for me? Is there something you don't understand? Lay it on the line for me. I'm more than happy to field your questions any day. And then finally, below in the body of this email, there are several links. And one of them is to the Pathway to Agreement, Bob Proctor's sales program. Most of what I've learned in the last few years regarding sales and what I'm helping my sales people, people understand and learn at a deep level is through the pathway to agreement. By the way, the lesson today was from that. If you'd like to learn more, click on the link below. It'll walk you through what it looks like to enter the pathway to agreement. And there's also information below if you'd like to show up live for one of our sales trainings. Our doors are open regardless of industry, regardless of brokerage. We are here to share and learn together. I'm Kevin Yoder, and I'll see you at the top.